Now, earlier this year, Israel won the Eurovision Song Contest. The competition will be hosted in Tel Aviv in 2019. Well, broadcaster Mike Murphy will be familiar to you all. Aside from everything else, he's an eight-time Eurovision Song Contest commentator. But he's now calling for us to boycott the competition next year. He sat down with me a little earlier on. So, Mike, first up, you visited Israel yourself last year and it impacted you. Tell us why. Yes, it did. It impacted me very strongly. I had been there many, many years ago, ironically for the Eurovision Song Contest in the 70s. Uh, but when I got there, I was interested in seeing what was happening with regard to the Palestinian people. And um, so I did get into the occupied territories, went around there, and yes, uh, I was really appalled by what I saw. And. Uh, I just, I just feel that it's a shame that the Israeli people and the Jewish people who have gone through what they've gone through in the Holocaust, that they are now doing what they are doing, which is, which is unconscionable to the Palestinian people. So I was quite shocked by what I saw. But there are two sides to it. And did you see or did you attempt to see the other side of it as well, the side that the Israeli people would tell us about if they were sitting here tonight? Yeah, met, met a, number of, um, a number of Israeli people. There was a very nice uh, settler um, and he, we had a long discussion about it. And um, he, of course, is justifying uh, the historical significance of the lands belonged to and all that kind of thing. But um, I, I was making, very strongly making the point that the, the irony of the situation is, given what the Jewish people went through in the Holocaust, that to me it just appears that it's the abused becoming the abuser.